Patreon is a new mythical introduced in Generation 9 that most likely will never see VGC play. Since Regulation H hasn't officially started yet though, and we're stuck in casual for a few more days anyways, I decided to build a Regulation H team with it, and see how well it can perform. So with that said, let's break down the team and see what it can do. Yo guys, what is up? Zorin here with another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet VGC video, and today I am bringing you a team that we're not going to really be using um, very much right after this video. It's just going to be this one time that you'll ever get to see this video, so don't actually... You could use this in casual, but you'll probably never get to use it ever again. But I wanted to have fun with this because Petron is a mod that we will not see ever in pro probably in VGC. So you know what I said, you know, since we're in casuals right now, testing stuff out, why not just play with Petron, right? We're we're really we're we're about to be out of the we're about to be out of the casual meta. We're gonna be in the ranked meta soon because ladder's going to be regulation H. So this is why I made this team just so I can just have fun this one just this one video. See what it can do. I still made it a rental in case you guys want to try out the team for fun as well. I mean, there's only a couple of days left, so I don't see no harm in it. But if you guys do want to try it, the rental poker pace will be in the description below for you guys to try this team out. But yeah, we're going to be playing Petrurunt and see how well it can perform in VGC. Whether or not it, it's capable of playing with the big boys, which I mean, it's a mythical. Usually mythicals are kind of broken. So we're going to see what it can do. Now, there's actually a much more annoying way to play this thing as a poison utility mon that just poisons them their its whole purpose is to be very bulky and very annoying with like poison gas or something uh shout out to Jordi vgc for this for this idea because it, it does make sense especially with its stat uh stat line but i wanted to make it the the start of the show so i went more of a carry role now this if you don't know what poison puppeteer does it basically makes it so if the if you poison the target you also confuse them. So Malignant Chain here has a 50% chance of poisoning. That's going to be the plan to just poison them and confuse them. But we're also going to be trying to nasty plot. So that way we can um, hit hard with Petrurunt. Now Hex is here as well. Because we're going to be poisoning stuff. We might as well hit them hard with Hex. Hex I feel like is really good with Petrurunt. Because yeah, you're going to be poisoning things anyways. So might as well just run Hex. Get like a base 130 ghost move once they're poisoned. So I thought that was really good. Obviously, it's the only one doing any status moves, but because I just want to focus on poison, this this should this should be fine, hopefully. But yeah, the rest of the team is very simple. We got Rillaboom and Arcanine to cover for uh, fire and, and and grass. We don't really have a water type, but that's okay. Mousehold and Hydreigon here. Hydreigon is mainly here for side span and also a, our Tailwind setter. So he's a little bit bulky, but he's still he's uh well she sorry excuse me she's actually really uh on the on the faster side as well, but she's on the bulky side, so she's just here for mainly snarl support, if anything. Mousehold and Palmot here. Uh, Mousehold obviously for free the redirection to help Pe Petrurant. Also friend guard and taunt to get rid of those sleep powder spores and then palm out here is just to help us out with some more damage and also revival blessing is just really strong so i just want to keep it on it but yeah that's the team here we're gonna see what it can do if you guys want to try the team like i said rent the poker place will be in the description below as always make sure to like and subscribe if you guys want more vgc content because it does help me out but with that said let's just see what petron can do let's just see what petron can do in this video all right let's go okay well not a great start because we're gonna be fighting <laughs> Three things resisted to poison. Matchmaking at its finest. This is, this is exactly what I mean with matchmaking. I bring a poison type that I want to showcase. There's three things that are weak, that are resistant to poison. It is what it is. That's just just how the luck of the draw is, right? I have no idea what this team can do because this thing has a blossom and it has a has a little palisand. I forget the name of the the, the small one. <laughs> this is a very weird team, but okay, let's let's see what we can do with this team. Uh yeah, three three resistance to poison. Fantastic. You don't see that every day. I'll tell you that much. We we do not see that much uh we don't see that very often. So I think I'm just gonna go into Iro here. Iro should be fine. Uh, I just need to figure out what I'm going to do for the Eternatus. Because there's a Satian and an Eternatus in here. I think it's still Maleficent though. Maleficent should be fine. Petron in the back. 
Petra run in the back. Then just servants. In case they have like sleep powder shenanigans. And we'll see what happens. But yeah, <laughs> of course. When I wanna have fun with uh with Petra and I, I run into three points. Like I'm okay with running into restrict things. That's not a problem. I'm using a mythical, right? That's that's no issue. But matchmaking decided, you know what, Let, you're you're trying out this mythical that you're never gonna get to play ever again. Let me just pump you in with a with a triple triple whammy. And they start off with the two things that, that I can Okay. That's funny. Okay. I want to tear I want to I want to go for Tailwind, but I don't want to lose my dude real real quick. I might just have to tear later. I mean, do the thing later. This thing doesn't get earth power, does it? But that's something I'm kind of scared of. I'm scared of my. I'm not really terrified of the. Uh, I'm gonna go for the for the Gardevoir. I'm gonna switch into Petra run here. Yeah, fine. <laughs> I don't know how how well Petra is gonna do late game then, because probably the the three Steel types are in the back. I mean the two Steel types and the Poison type is in the back. Okay, they just let me have Gardevoir. Cool. That's uh, interesting. Not what I expected. They did sleep powder. Okay. I did take a sleep powder to the face. Fantastic. Normally the two the two fairy types there's two fairy types on the field normally it wouldn't be you know bad. But uh, because we are indeed We are indeed a uh I'm just gonna go straight for the super, um, the Malignant Chain and see what happens. But because they are also part steel, oh my god, it's Quick Claw, and they got it right on the first turn. Okay, I st I'm still gonna need um, Arcan. I needed Arcan. I awake for the what's in the back though. Battle play. Okay, yeah, they'll do it. All right, let's see how much this is gonna. Do. Oh, this is just a straight one shot. Yeah, I mean, it's a bit awesome. What did I? What did I expect? Right. <laughs> we got a nice little heal back with Black Sludge because we're actually still Poison Terra, so Black Sludge is still gonna be really good into into this. Not only that, freaking Petron has a really high uh, physical defense. Just to put that put put that out there. Do we want to do this? I think I'm just going to follow me here. That thing foul played me, right? Yeah. I'm just going to set up a little. Don't want to take too much damage on this thing, even though it's... One thing to note... Okay, that's fine. They're probably going straight for it anyways. So that's fine. Alright, we got the, uh, the plus two. Facing two steel types. Yeah, that's not gonna do a lot. The thing has base like one six. Oh my god, that's a cr stop helping him! Stop! That's not funny. You're not funny game. Stop helping him. Okay, we need to go into. Uh... Alright, we're probably just gonna let Hyro go because. Yeah. Probably gonna have to let it go. Because I'm going to just get hit by a Sacred Sword here, right? Because I need I need Tailwind up. So I'm going to have to Terra Hydreigon. So maybe I should have swapped into Hydreigon. But that's okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for one more of these. Yeah, we're just going to lose all our mons to this uh, Zacian now. Just gonna go for another one though.
foul play. Fine. Not the biggest. Not the biggest uh, threat here, honestly. Is that foul play? I don't know why it has foul play though. I'll be honest. Just just a cessation in the thingy though. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and tear. We're gonna put up this, and we're just gonna go for a uh, a hex onto the. I guess the Tinkaton isn't that big of a deal if I go for it. So I already got rid of both Blossom and Gardevoir, which is what we need to deal with with the Petra. But they brought it up first, so yeah. Moonblast. Or oh, is this like their in-game team? And we just, yeah, the ma matchmaking just decided to give me the, the guy with two steel types. That's the only reason I'm having trouble with this guy. It's not enough to KO. Kind of expected. Okay. I mean, they could Sacred Sword me now. That's that's true. Okay, I'm gonna protect. I'm gonna protect here as well, just in case. I know they just Gigaton hammered, but we're gonna have to. But this thing has like base 160 defense though, so this thing is a monster when it comes to its defense stat at least. But we probably still might lose just because of how... Yeah, thank god I went for protect. Jesus, they even gave him the Quick Claw again. Why is he terrestrializing? If you want to terrestrialize away from your... from your uh, Steel type, that'd be great. Oh, perfect. Thank you. Now I'm going to destroy your Zacian. That's that's not something you wanted to do. That, that That's not something you want to do. Casual ladder, boys. Because that is not what you want to do. Because we're protecting here. The steel beam. Yeah, that, that might just t take me out. Oh, it takes it itself out. It, it does. It takes the damage even if it does. What the heck? I didn't know that. So it takes the damage even if it gets protected on. That's insane. Okay. Very cool. And I just wanted the healing on the Petron. It could matter, especially if they keep giving this person crits left and right because it's a new, like a, a noob or something. I don't know what it is. But we're gonna, we should be able to just finish this off now. That actually did a sizable chunk, to be honest. All right, Malignant Chain at plus four. How much is this still gonna do to Asian? Yeah, it's just gonna one shot. It's base 100 power. So, times two, yeah, times two. 200 base power. Probably, I don't know how they, how it gets added first, but I'm pretty sure it's like 200 and then 200 times stab, so it's like, that's probably 150 then, right? 150 then, then it applies it two times, so it's 300 base power? I don't know. Either way, let's just get into the next one. Okay, and of course I run into our Chaladon, Mouse Ape. Mouse our Chaladon Ape, yeah, I'm gonna run into this. Not, not surprised. Not surprised at all, okay. How am I gonna deal with this again? I have no clue. No, I have no clue. Uh, I'm going to try this and see how it goes, but it's Mouse Ape Plus, with, with no rain, like no, uh, no Pelipper, but it's Tailwind. So it's going to be, a, it's still going to be a rough one. We'll see. Something to note is Petron isn't just poison. It's also ghost. Something that I didn't realize. I thought it was a pure poison type, but it's actually a poison ghost type. I guess because they all shared, um, the loyal three also have poison plus a typing, so I guess this thing is just sharing poison. But its main primary goal is to be a ghost type. I guess it's like its primary typing is a ghost, but ah, I guess I wouldn't say that because poison is what he gave to the other three. I guess the loyal three. But we'll see what happens against this. I don't I don't have any confidence in this right now because it's our Chaladon plus ape, and that just doesn't sound fun. But I'm going to need Tailwind too. 
And I'm probably gonna have to Terra. Problem is, I'm probably gonna get Rage Fisted. Oh, they went Ursa Luna out there. Okay. Not what I expected, honestly. Okay, I'm gonna go for a close combat. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna Tailwind. Call it a day. This is why I have Champto. I was expecting our Chaladon. Our Chaladon is literally there for. That means they have Mouse Ape in the back. I might just get baited into a close combat and be sad. They're gonna Terra. Are they Terra Ghosts? I'm gonna cry if they're, they're the only Ursuluna running Terra Ghost here. No, oh, it's Terra Normal. Okay. He's either going for straight out Blood Moon to stop my Tailwind or. Because I should still be faster even with Tailwind because I have Choice Scarf. I'm hoping I'm still faster. Yeah, I'm still faster. Oh, it, it, is it flashed? You've got to be kidding me. Who runs Focus Hash or Saluna, man? Oh, man. Okay. That's fun. It's Sash or Saluna. Yeah, and they just went straight for Maleficent here. It's bulky, but it's not gonna. It's it's not enough. It's not gonna be able to take a blood wound. That move is broken. Oh boy! How fantastic is that that we run into a Sash or Saluna out of all things too? I'm just gonna malignant chain. I can't even go for nasty pluck. This thing probably has haze. That's really really frustrating. Is it just um ape in the back? It is ape. Okay. Fantastic. Does so much damage even then. We don't even get it. Okay. 50 50, boys. I just never get it. Never lucky. Okay. It's fantastic. I'm going to protect. Just be done with it. I'm going to have to protect here. That's fantastic, man. Ursaluna with a Focus Ash. Who, who would have thought? Okay. Well, he knows my typing. Right. I just don't know if I live a Rage Fist either plus that. That's the, that's the problem. I need to get rid of this thing. Like, I need to get rid of this thing if I can't even do anything. This would be the turn to do it. I'm just gonna follow me and I'm just gonna go for Malignant Chain again. I'm just sad that I didn't get the um... Don't tell me they have Mar Marcelladon in the back. No, they have that. I have Interrod, so that's at least good. One thing is that we he still has Tailwind in the back. Oh, he actually went for Rage Fist. Okay. Well, I'm okay with that. Finally. Okay. We got something. I will take that. I will gladly take that. Okay, Tailwind Peter's out, which is nice, and this thing is now poisoned. I'm gonna protect here, and I'm just gonna nasty plot. I feel like I should nasty plot here. And then Hex should just finish it off. I could take both hits. I feel like I could take both hits here. Yeah, I'll nasty plot here. 
I'm gonna go for a Terra Poison. I think that's, that seems right. I can't believe he Rage Fist when I, he knows I, I, I need to protect my pet, right? I don't see why I wouldn't want to protect it. Drain Punch, okay. Oh, well, yeah, it, of course it has Drain Punch. Why wouldn't it have it? It is a plus one though, so I need to be careful with it. <laughs> Perfect. They went straight for it. That's actually huge. Uh Hello control? Hello? Hello control? Oh god, my controls Deciding to do this to me right now. Hello? Okay. Jesus Christ, my control just decided to die on me. Uh, here's the problem. I don't want to lose my, my thing, right? I'm going to taunt him. I'll taunt him and I'm going to go for a malignant chain on this. Okay, he does. Go, he's he's actually faster than my Petron actually. Oh yeah, he does not. He does nothing. But I have one one sixty base defense. That thing does nothing, and that's a plus one. He's gonna be doing much more damage in a little bit though. Ooh, Hex would have just finished it. Oh, that was a crit. Okay, that makes sense. They don't get the fifty fifty poison though, which is the more important thing, which is literally the reason why I did that. But. I'll take it. He is disrespecting me right now. Okay. Um, I'm in a really good spot now. I think I could just go for like follow me. If he drain punches, so be it. I just go for. I forgot to give this thing um PP ups. Oh, I'm gonna have to remake. I need to remake this team. I'll remake it after this and give you the actual rent -a code if you guys want to try out the team because uh, yeah, I messed up. I messed up big time. Honestly, I could just protect here. Hex, okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I figured he, I figured he wanted more more healing. He should have brought Archalodon. I don't know why he went mouse. He went ape without mouse or Archalodon. He had mouse ape, right? Pretty sure he did. Like, why wouldn't you bring Archalodon when you saw a poison type here? He brought like two supports. You brought like your dude, but it's like it doesn't matter. Like, I, I'm just, I'm just outplaying this guy at this point. I'm just outplaying him. He really wants these rats. Instead of Petra Run. Petra Run's one one thing is is that it's it's got really good defense, so you can bank on its defense at this. It has really low base HP though. Like 88 is well not really low, it's it's like average. It has like average base HP. 88 isn't the craziest. But yeah, all he has left is Murkrow and, and Cinderor, so I don't see how he wins this anymore. Cause uh, we got what was his first one that he had? That was Murkrow. Incineroar, Annihilate. What was his first mon? Oh, Ursul. Oh, he still has Ursuluna in the back. No, he still has a one HP Ursuluna in the back. Right. Right, right, right. That can actually be a problem if I'm not careful, because uh, that Ursuluna might only be a one HP. But if it gets under Tailwind, it might be a problem. But we did get a plus two on this malignant chain. This guy's now stalling because he's mad. He's angry. I'm telling you this right now, he's angry. He's absolutely angry. Like, why wouldn't you go into Murkrow here? Murkrow was definitely the play here. I'm actually gonna go into my... No. No, yeah, I can go into champ here. I'll go into champ. <laughs> We're gonna go for a Malignant Chain on this. I need to, uh, after this battle, I need to go PP up. I, rem I knew I was, gonna rem I was gonna forget something on this team. I knew it was. 
I knew I was gonna forget something, and I was just like, "That nah, will be fine." I think I did everything. The nature, I did nature's Terra, nature's Terra, um, move sets, bottle cap, every, all of the, you know, all the essentials. I did all that, and then I just forget. Oh, abilities, everything, like everything is fine. It's just the PP up, which is kind of bad because my my moves are five out of five, right? So now he has no more, uh, no more of this. The poison didn't really even matter. Like, it, the poison mattered because it, obviously it takes down. But it didn't, the confusion didn't do anything. Because the confusion for me never does anything. See? Never does anything. So it's fine. That's expected. Yeah, there goes my choice card, which is fine. Petron pretty much just doing its own little thing here. There goes down in center. So now all they have left is the, uh... All they have left is the Merkel, so they're definitely not winning anymore. Yeah, Petron with friend guard against physical heavy uh, bonds is kind of nasty. Yeah, Focus Sash or Saluna though, you never, you will never see those. Never. They never run that. That's crazy. I wonder if it just KOs then. Because that if you're going to be Sash, you don't put HP on it. Like ever. Never want to put HP on it. All right, I'm just gonna put um, my last malignant chain in, but yeah, we need to. Uh... We need to go uh, make a quick edit to this team and get the correct rental in. in. So we'll do that. We'll do that. Let's let's go do that right now, and I'll see you guys in the next battle. You won't see me be doing that though. You'll just see the next battle. All right, I'll see you in the next battle. Okay, well, it's res it's a restricted format here. That's not going to be fun for me, that's for sure. I can tell you that much. Okay. Well, we might as well go Maleficent here. Maleficent is fine here. I'm trying to figure out who comes out first. Is it just Horse? Horse Rider that comes out? They have a lot of ghost types too. They do have the way to put up the sun too. Hmm. I don't know if they go for like a fair move. So I need to bring this. I'm gonna go Pet Petron in the back. And I guess Hyro in the back. No champ this time. Champ really can't do anything here. <laughs> there's there's a bunch of ghosts. There's a bunch of uh, electric. There's a there's an electric immunity. I think. Yeah. So let's just uh, bring. I, oh, I guess I could have brought champ. Actually, I have knockoff. I completely forgot knockoff. I could have just one shot at the uh, the dude. Yeah, I could have just one shot. <laughs> I didn't even think about. It. No, but I'm not faster. I don't think. That's the, that's the only issue. I don't think I'm faster. What what can this thing do to me? It might just U-turn out. True. Might just U-turn out. I think I'm just going to go Tailwind then. Tell him follow me. Or I could even protect actually. I could protect, go for taunt. Just so it doesn't... It's gonna get Tailwind up, but at least it won't. Oh, he's gonna taunt me. Oh, okay, that's bad. It's really bad. Yeah. Oh, that's not good. Oh, uh, he went for taunt straight off the bat, huh? Okay. Going to hero here. Lower the damage of said move. Is it worth it though? Probably not. We have like decent defenses, but how bad do I need to keep the Terra on what's his face? 
I don't think it matters. I think I, I, I think I did, I do steal Terra, and I just go into Hero here. He can taunt me now, though. So I, I won't be able to uh, put up my Tailwind. I think I went for Snarl. I don't even know what I went with with uh. And High Dragon, I think I went with, with Tailwind, actually. Snarl was actually the play here, if I'm going to Terra. Because if he goes into Horse, at least I get a, a, a nice little Snarl on it. Okay, yeah, he U-turns out, does no damage. Fantastic. Thing is that there's so many things that make uh, Petra not want to come out. It's going to be really rough playing Petra in here. I did go for Snarl though. It's not Cobra Oil Sash then, for sure. Hundred percent. Um, that. I guess I go into Petra on here then. Just go for Rock Slide. Call it a day. If I get hit by like a knockoff or something, so be it. He goes for Tailwind. Okay. Yeah, he does go for Flare Blitz. Not a feeling. Not, not dealing with that. Petra least can take that. So I'm okay with this. I'm okay with the outcome. There's a citrus berry again. Okay. Think about this now. Does the horse come out? Lando comes out, okay. Um, yeah, this is gonna be a problem though. Maybe knock off the uh, Petrum, but I would just go for Stomping Tantrum if I was him. He might go for it on the on that slide though. I guess Petrum going down here isn't the worst, so I'm just gonna go for this. Switch it to Maleficent a little day. But Petron going down isn't the worst thing ever. I could protect, but I mean, I, I kind of don't want to. There's Rock Slide. I'm gonna KO me at least. Let's go for the knockoff. It does KO, right? Yeah. Could have protected. Honestly, I could have. He's, he's scarfed into Rock Slide though. Which I think is completely fine. Like I said, I kind of need to get attacked in. I need, to, I need to get my Tailwind in before I do anything else. So I go into Servants here. Petron obviously wasn't going to do it much here. I already knew from the, from the start that was going to happen. So that's okay. We're going to go for um, Tailwind here. Just so he doesn't get a Flare Blitz right off me. Hopefully he doesn't get a Flare Blitz flinch, like he doesn't get a flinch on me, because otherwise I'm going to be very sad. Yeah, Servants goes down. Yeah, Incinero is just a broken mon, let's be real. That's not fair. Okay, nice, we didn't flinch. We got our Tailwind up. That's actually big. That's really, really big for us. Tell when Peter Zell, perfect. Going to Hyro here. Oh, we just spam Rock Slide now. Uh, now our turn to, to start spamming this and just go for Snarls. Nice. <laughs> nice. Yeah, he lost. He can't switch out. 
he can't even switch out into uh, his uh, his dude. He just loses. All right, GG. Let's go. On to the next one. Okay, well. There's this team. Okay. We're going to go with Maleficent here, though. I think. I think Maleficent is fine here. Of course, if he goes into that bird thing, that might be a little bit of a problem. Rillaboom hasn't really been seen much here, but Rillaboom could probably be really good here as long as they don't go overquill. But if they go overquill, then I'm sad. Because I kind of want champ here, kind of don't. And I kind of want servants here. It's it's a rough one because we want to showcase Petra Run, but Petra Run would actually be really bad here. So I would rather go like servants Maleficent just to be safe. And then just have these two in the back because this would be really nice to have. But uh, yeah, we're going to go with Petra Run here for sure in the back. It might still be champ, honestly, instead of Unga Bunga. Unga, Bu Unga Bunga gives me uh, priority. That's why. That's why I want it. I'm gonna go with it. I think it's. I think it was Rillaboom, but we'll go with it. We'll go with it. Why not? We'll bring Petron in the back. We just need to get Tailwind up. That's like number one in this situation. We need to get Tailwind up. Be fast. Okay. Yes. Just what I was expecting to see, I guess. Can this thing one-shot me? It has liquidation. The only thing I'm worried about is the... Uh... Yeah, we're gonna go for Tailwind. We're not gonna play around. We're just gonna Tailwind. We're gonna protect. I think that's fine. I you know, instead of protect, maybe we just go for Taunt. Just so they don't get their Tailwind up. That might be fine too. I, fi I figured they were gonna bring this dumb poison thing. That's why I didn't want to bring um, what's his face either in the back. We're just, we're just gonna taunt here. Because if they don't get their thing, okay, that's fine. Let me just get Tailwind up then. Liquidation. Do we just lose? No, we don't. Cool. I'm cool with that. Okay, Tailwind is up. I don't know if I'm faster than Overquill though, even with Tailwind, because I don't know Overquill's base speed. I'll be quite honest with you. I could look it up real quick. Um, Overquill. Base 85, meaning that we probably do outspeed it actually. How fast is my um my ratones over here? 150, 150. Okay, so I'm, I'm speed tying with myself. Whoops, I needed to I needed to change that. Uh that's fine. I'm gonna Draco here. No, we can't we can't do that, huh? Yeah, I'm just gonna Draco though. And taunt anyways. Okay. I was gonna protect too. Oh, he did switch into this. Okay. Oh, it one shots. Okay, cool. My uh, my <laughs> my dude isn't that isn't a uh, a very offensive Hydreigon. I have a very bulky one. It only has like 124 special attack. So Draco meter just one shots. Cool. That's all I needed it to do. Nice little one shot. We got the taunt on it as well, so that's pretty nice. Okay. Uh, only problem is now we we have to deal with this, right? So 
Smiles are not going to do much now. This is going to be another game where Petron doesn't get to do anything. I'm just going to protect. I'm going to protect. My um, Petron isn't that fast though. He might wave crash into servants. Then if he does, that'll be fantastic. Yeah, perfect. So I'm just gonna go for malignant chain on this thing, and I'm just gonna switch back into Maleficent. Call it a day there. If he gets tailwind, if he gets he gets tailwind up. That's fine. But I wanna at least do some damage to this thing. Then we go back into Maleficent so we can start snarling. Perfect. Probably gets Tailwind up, which is fine. I just need the little guys to not get... Okay, that's fine too. I could have just Nasty Plotted. If I really wanted to. The tailwind Peter's out. As expected. I'm just going to hex this thing and go for a snarl. Actually, no, I'm going to go for a malignant chain here. I'm a tailwind. Actually, he could just switch out though. That's the only issue. Yeah, I'll just hex this thing and go for a tailwind. I think that's fine too. Jeez, that surely did destroy my HP though. We do get the Tailwind off though. We do live the last respects and that that didn't do a lot because he's at base 100 now, right? Not gonna do a lot, but at least we got that out of the way. That's fine. Yep, perfect. Oh, he's in a bad spot now. Petra and Liv, so that's, that's really big. Um, I could just go with a nasty plot here and go for a snarl. Honestly, and that's all. That's it. Yep, yep. And Petron doesn't even get. It's, it, the thing is, this is a regulation H team with Petron on it, and Petron isn't even doing the doing the work here. You got you gotta you gotta put that in perspective. Petron hasn't really gotten to do anything. It's really just the other the rest of the team. So, just just point that out. All right, let's get on to the next one. Okay guys, very interesting looking team. There is a Steel type, which is completely fine. That's what Hero, Hero is for, here for. It's for that very reason. Hero is literally here for those Steel types to kind of help Petra run. So that's kind of the whole point. I think I'm just going to go with these two. Honestly, no. We're going to go with these two and gonna bring Petra on, uh, what's his face in the back, right? We're not, we might want Snarl though. Snarl kind of looks good here. Or do we want Sham? Sham looks okay here as well. Yeah, sure. Let's let's bring Sham. I really like Palma, especially in, in this Regulation Age. It's honestly really, really cool. It's a really cool Mon, and I'm kind of glad that I can use, utilize him. There was a team with Soga Leo that I featured with Palma though, and it did really well on that team. So, you know, I feel like on a, on a much lower scaled format, it can actually do really well. It's also my Archado that I answer. Pretty much. Okay, what am I terrified of here? Yeah, he actually has two, two steel types now that I think about it. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go for a nasty plot. And I'm just going to taunt this thing. Because I, I don't trust it. I don't know what it does, but I'm just not going to let it do whatever it's going to do. I had a feeling there's a source end coming too. That's the, that's the funny part. I actually felt like that thing was going to do that. Oh, it was double setting up. Okay. Okay, Malignant Chain here. Honestly, I could just go for a, um, a Hex on this. And a Super Fang on this slot. 
good damage and get Hex off. Yep, there you go. That's gone. <laughs> no, none of that. Let's let's not do any of that. Yeah. Let's just get rid of it. Yeah, you, you can do whatever you want with that thing. You're not even terastalizing. That's the crazy part. Okay. Here's here's that thing. Cool. Uh, I'm just gonna do this. No squall softs, nothing. I don't want any of that. Taunt, no trick room. Not allowed. And I'm just gonna go for Malignant Chain. Call it a day. Yeah. He's just letting me have his mons. I don't know what this guy is doing. There's no thought process in his brain. He's just, yep, okay. Dude, you just saw me taunt. Why would I let you go for any status moves? It makes absolutely no sense why you would think I would let you do that. I literally said, like, I'm just gonna keep taunting you. Like, what, what? You can't even pop bomb me. You can't even pop bomb this slot. So I'm cool. I'm chilling. I'm absolutely chilling. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, Pekarin is definitely doing something this time. <laughs> Look at what are you doing, dude? I am literally just sitting on you with taunts. <laughs> Brother, what are you doing? This guy really thought I would just let him set up and call it a day. Oh, he did not need to get crit there. That was just that was just overkill, Petra. And I know you're evil and all, but come on, man. This guy didn't even know what he was doing anymore. Jesus. Okay. Well, four minute game. Yeah. All right. Oh, do I think I think I know this team? No, I don't think I do know. All I know is I'm terrified. Is the correct thing to say here? I'm part ghost. That's the uh, one issue. The other issue is them going. If they go side spam, I'm gonna be very sad. Cause champ isn't that bad here, honestly. But I also kind of want Rilla Boom. Maybe we just do these two and bring these two in the back and call it a day. Now, you know what? I, I kind of like these two in the front first. Call it a day. I It's it's a rough call because like, why would you go? You don't want to go those two together right now. I feel like. I feel like you don't want to go, but it covers everything though, right? It does, it does cover everything. Okay, I'm going to go with Rillaboom and I'm going to put these two in the back, so be it. Call it a day. The reason I didn't want to go Rillaboom first is because if they go Psy Spam, I lose the Terrain War right off the bat. Kind of don't want to lose their terrain run right off the bat, and if then I would have to, I'd, I'd be forced to switch out, which is not ideal. It is not ideal for me. It, it, they did go away. Oh wow, they did not respect that potential. This is probably isn't even trick room now that I think of it. Honestly, it might not be. Which is kind of rough for me. Hmm. I don't think it's Trick Room though, because if it's Trick Room, their the rest of their team doesn't look like it would want to be under Trick Room too much. I guess it could be, honestly. Alright, we'll go for this. Oh. The heck? Really? They're just gonna let me have it? Really? 
I mean, I guess you get the Dazzling Gleam, my dude, now. But it's not gonna KO. You're, you're, you're a little guy. At minus one now. Okay. I'm cool with this. I'm not angry. Not at all, actually. Yes, Slamstorm kicks up. Sure. Tailwind. Yeah, just Tailwind and, and, and Woodhammer, honestly. Okay. Fair enough. Alright, I guess that's going to be the end of the video then. Like, forget it. <laughs> Trying to find battles is really tough. Alright. Okay guys, that's gonna be the end of the video. I did change the rental like I said I would because of the whole issue with the moves being at 888. But yeah, Petrium can do stuff. I, I honestly, it, when, when we were able to actually bring it, it actually did like do well. I mean, we brought it into teams that shouldn't have it. It shouldn't have done as well as it did. To be fair, he had a child done and he should have brought it. But that it is what it is. I'm cool with this. I just wanted to have fun with Petron. Because it's we're never gonna get to use this mythical, and I just found you know what we're we're in this format. Why not? Like just have fun with it. Just just try out Petron people. There's people that are running restrictics anyway, or like legendaries. We might as well just give it a go. Bring our own little legendary, and it's really not the strongest mythical in the game. It's just very bulky, and its whole purpose is actually to just be very annoying with like poison gas or something like that. Malignant Chain isn't even its best move. It's literally something like Toxic or Poison Gas to confuse them and just be very annoying. But I wanted to make it to showcase and just like try the nasty plot and get it to see what kind of damage it can do. And it can do damage. It can do damage. So I'm okay with that. But if I were to make... I'm probably going to make this into an actual Regulation H team. And I would honestly just slot in uh, Glimora. Glimora is literally the perfect slot in for this thing. Uh, sure, you lose the Ghost Typing and get a Rock Typing, but Meteor Beam is really strong. And Sludge Bomb Earth Power is just very very good coverage move and the team would just do real solid honestly. The team would look absolutely amazing if I were to go for that. Because then you have so many answers. You got Meteor Beam for, for the Torkoals, you got um you got Earth Power for the the funny or Chalodons, you have Sludge Bomb for like Rillaboom. So yeah, Glamoro would definitely be what I change onto this thing and just go a Meteor Beam uh, set with it. Because the rest of the team is honestly solid. Like you saw, we didn't really get to there's times we didn't really get to bring Petron in or it didn't really get to do much or it was just it was a sack and the rest of the team just thrived in Regulation H. So that's why I kind of wanted to bring a Regulation H team with Petron because I wanted to also still play Pe Regulation H and honestly I'm having a lot of fun. I'm having a, minus or Chaladon being in the, in the in the format. I am having fun with, with Regulation H. So hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, the Renton Pokebase will be up for you guys to try out. With the, but j just to let you know, this will be only up for a week. So forever, whoever decides to try it out, YouTubers or whatever, just to have fun before the format goes down. You know, the format officially begins. You know, have fun with it. See, let me know what Petron can do if you guys end up using it. But with that said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.